Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A planet has an albedo of 0 0.3. The simplified energy balance for the planet is shown. What is the intensity radiated by the surface of a planet? Okay, so let us read this thing. See, the incoming intensity is taken to be 100. 0 0.3 is the albedo. It means that the 30 watt per meter square is the energy which is reflected back uh, by the clouds, by the surface of the planet and whatever. 30% is gone uh, there itself. You are left with 70 watt. So 70 watt per meter square is the energy which is absorbed by Earth. Obviously, if the temperature has to remain constant, so this energy has to be radiated back. So this will be given here. So in the first instant, it feels like 60 is going, like it is reflected back from the atmosphere to the Earth. So the answer here should be 10 watt per meter square. So that is what we usually think of. But as we can clearly see, 10 is not an option here. So definitely that is wrong. And why is that wrong? The another reason is that Earth cannot, like what Earth will do with this kind of an energy. Because it is like the radiated energy has to be equal to the incoming intensity. Otherwise, the temperature of the Earth cannot be constant. It will start uh, increasing. It will start increasing. So the first condition is that 100 watt per meter square is coming to the earth. So 100 will be going out. That is for sure. Um, like uh, we just assume it. That is what is within our syllabus. So 100 is coming in. 30 goes here. So clearly 70 is given out here. So we will assume that 70 watt per meter square is radiated like this. 30 watt is returned but just by the reflection. So 70 is going out. It means 70 plus 60. It means 130 watt per meter square is the energy which was actually given up by Earth. Ironic, isn't it? But yes, this is what happens. Why I am sure about it? Because there is one more question that IB has asked and I have already solved that. Uh, if you have watched that video um, from the previous year questions, they were using the same concept in that question. So what was happening? 130 watt is radiated by Earth. From where is that energy coming? Because Earth is actually absorbing only 70. But Earth is emitting 130. From where is that energy coming? Actually, the 60 watt per meter square energy which was trapped in the atmosphere, it is again going to the surface and it is again mixed with this 70. So it's basically 70 plus 60 that is coming here. So 70 plus 60 is 130 and out of this 130, 70 is emitted back to the space and 60 watt per meter square energy is trapped inside the atmosphere which keeps on moving like this, which keeps on moving like this here. So it is neither going out nor it is coming from outside. I don't know from where this energy is coming, but this energy has come up from somewhere and this is trapped inside this. So Earth is like, you, you can say that Earth is warm and we like the temperature of the Earth's surface is comparatively much more than what it is for the Venus, what, what it is for the other planets. So there is a possibility that this energy is now trapped because of various reasons. So this is how we do this question. So the answer for us, is 130 and clearly the answer is the option D. So D will be the correct option and this is the right explanation. What I did in these questions, try to understand the energy which is coming to the surface of the earth that should be going away from the surface of the earth. That is the limiting condition, the final condition for us. So 30 is here. So 70 will be here. 60 is going this side. It clearly means that 130 should be the energy that is radiated. Now, one more point I would like to clarify here. Whenever they say energy radiated, they are actually talking about only and only emission. They are not considering reflection in their calculation. This is emission. Now, what is the difference between emission and radiation? Radiation is happening instantly. But emission is taking time. First, absorption will take place. So, definitely, Earth's temperature is going to increase for some time. Like for example, we take the case of desert. In a uh, uh, day, the desert's temperature is very, very high. But at night, it is emitting all of the energies. And that is why nights are colder in desert area. So this is what is the exact 
explanation for this question okay this was, and thanks for watching this is professor Varun. please join the youtube channel if you want to access the complete online course as well as the paper two solutions all the best bye